That's a game they probably want to forget about facing off against Elements here going forward. However, we are set up. We're about to go onto the rift, and we want to hear from you at home. Tweet us at LL Esports to see if you think Elements will pick this one up, or will the Copenhagen Wolves waltz away with a victory here in week three? There are your comps, there are your teams. The crowd is very excited as we are quite ready to get this game underway. Elements taking on Copenhagen Wolves, and we are onto the no wards. back up. No wards to spot him. Promise Q and Tabs, they could be in danger. Let me just give it away. Yep, that's an immediate flash by Promise Q, but no Tabs lantern. is a little bit caught. There's the hook. Airwax is going to flash over into Tabs, into the exhaust. That's going to be first blood as Freeze rips out those spears. Allows Young Buck to push us out that bot lane, bounce the wave, mm. get a safe shop. So he's getting through these early levels that are rough. But Airwax going for the return gank. They're looking he at Tabs. He is. Tabs runs right into it. He'll get the lantern to safety, but Denied. it's interrupted. Airwax will have the shield, and Freeze will have yet another kill. Off Airwax is lurking. Dexter is here for the return gank, though. Yeah, Airwax here we might go. have caught himself in. He goes to check on Tabs. The lantern goes out as promise Q. Walks back the unsafe way. There's the hook. There's the shield. It comes too late. Airwax, though. The heal comes out. A huge teleport in, or rather, Airwax goes in. Teleport from Jay Wow, rather, as the fight just starts out of nowhere. Dexter, the Hemo Plague. It should burn him down. It is Young Buck who secures the kill. Taking stock of it in the craziness. It's a one for one, but they're looking to add to it. Tabs, he's going down. A double kill for Young Buck. Jay Wow still clubbing around. Let's see if he can find Young Buck. No. Freeze will rip the spears out for a third kill. Double kill for Young Buck. Comes in with the teleport later than JWoww, but it wasn't enough. Elements, they tried it. It was a nice ID. Hopefully, Froggen and friends stay friends after this game because he's doing well yet again, just like yesterday, but the rest is falling down. Not looking good. And Tabs had to use that arrow in the mid lane. We see Parallel Conversions again. Soren? Yep, Soren, he's forced in it. He throws the Emperor's Divide, but Froggen will be able to take a bat to his head. It was yet another one of those face dives. Meanwhile, though, the Wolves will secure themselves. Dragon number one, sacrifice Soren to do it. This is good, this is good. That flashed out. Ultra flash definitely worked. Oh, nice barrel back, but Freeze is going to flash very quickly to avoid getting caught by the hook. Airwax now is going to turn the pressure on to Froggen. Challenging Smite comes out. No one else is going to follow. Promise Q tries to get the flay back, but the tunnel will slow him down. The parallel converges, and in comes the horse. Jay Wow, Onslaught of Shadows on to three. Emperor's Look Divide will try Buck to push go. it back. Young Buck teleporting in. Let's see if the Wolves can take this fight. They've taken down Jay Wow, but Unlimited is going to follow back to the fountain. Heal is on. Freeze. Elements getting chunked, but Dexter is determined to finish this fight, and so is Froggen, but he won't have enough in the tank, and Freeze will slay him. 5-0 on this Frog collection. got popped before he could use Chrono Break. Young Buck up to kill the front line there. They were kiting. The wolves rolled over and died. But what are they going to do right now? Are they going to follow this lead, Ira? Yeah, I, I feel like for Gambit, yesterday it was kind of a matter of them not being able to close out and the wolves just being able to stall a little bit. But this situation is so different to them. Let's see if Young Buck survives this one. He's in some serious Back trouble. Shield. Jay Wow has to take the Thresh Express to get himself out of danger. Now Soren, Emperor's Divide, puts down the Azir turret, flashes all in the blink of an eye. Oh, and wide. he is going to be able to get out of this situation. Taz gets get picked up, and Soren hops back in. Dexter tries to hop out, but Soren will slay him. The order was given, and it was fulfilled. Copenhagen Wolves turn a bad situation into a great one. Lanes at once, but... Copenhagen Wolves, they're all on the bottom and taking them down as Young Buck runs interference. And he elements also has are pushed the Baron off. Baron buff. those minions expense his ulti to take out the wave. And There's that's no enough. one here. Yeah, it's empty, but even if there was somebody there, they would quickly disappear. So elements banking, hoping that the Wolves can't take down any Nexus Towers. They're but not leaving. I feel like they can. Few members of Elements have come back. In comes Jay Wow, but he's afraid to actually dash into anyone as his home guards runs out finally. That's the power that he had. They're gonna try to group up on, on the rest of Copenhagen Wolves, but now he's forced to ult defensively. Airwax is taking the lone Nexus turret remaining. Meanwhile, Youngbuck finally went down to Froggen, but he bought a whole so lot of time. Oh, immediate immediate cleanse. cleanse. Nice. Well done. That signals to Wolves. Okay, we've come too far, or rather, we've stayed too long. Let's back out, try this again. But already, a massive play, and now they're looking to go again. Froggen still hasn't backed in this one, Crapo. Yeah, if he didn't quite catch it, 
Bogan used that Sony as Chrono Breaker combo while Young Buck was waiting for him. He popped him, but in the bottom, JWoww gets bound. He gets Probably denied. He gets a minion. Oh, all the way back to Fountain. He's able to get back. However, Copenhagen Wolves, they really might have overstayed their welcome here. So dangerous, but they managed to take down the last Nexus turret. It's just a Nexus for Elements. Copenhagen Wolves, talk about trying to close. They've taken this one all the way up to 11. In comes the Rek'Sai again. Yeah, teleport comes in full HP, Young Buck. Rek'Sai comes back full HP. Bear Nexus, Fog and half HP. He's going in. He's going to try to save the game if he can. Throws down the Zanya's Hourglass, and Copenhagen Wolves will turn around. Soren pokes him to death. And now, Elements in the last of their efforts to stay alive in this game. I don't think it's going to matter as the Copenhagen Wolves finish him off in just under 26 minutes. What a game and what a close, Crepo. And yet again, Elements give up first blood. Early game goes rough. Foggen does well in the mid lane, but it's not enough. The game's already.